Hi, I'm jeweler Jessie Brandt, and this is the making of a sterling silver wampum pendant. So I had the wampum stone here that's all cut out. I had cut it myself and it is nicely polished with a hole drilled through it. So I'll be using sterling, a sheet of sterling silver and some wire that's nicely rolled out. And I'm gonna be use, using a cold connection to uh, put the bail on this pendant. So I'll be using a, a rivet made out of sterling silver. So I have the stamps that I want to use for the design of the bale. I did a few practice swings on this um, piece of brass. I like to do some practice before I, uh, um, so I can figure out the kind of design that I want to do. And it's going to complement the, um, the striation of the wampum shell. So now for the fun part. Um, so now that you've seen me cut out the blank for my bail and I've done some of the, the stamping that needed, I've also put in the little sterling silver um, purification stamp to identify it as silver. So now let's get it looking more like a pendant. So I'm gonna, you see me do the quick annealing process and now it's easy and more malleable for me to bend into a bail. And now to finish the job and get it polished up.
And now we have the finished product. So this is the sterling silver bail on a, on a wampum pendant and it swivels. And this is uh, done in a cold connection um, style. So there is no soldering involved in this piece, but it is set onto, this, onto the wampum piece. So this is handmade from start to finish. I cut the shell from a, from a quahog shell um, and made the wampum piece, that's what we call it, um, when it's made into a stone. So we made, handmade this from start to finish. So I had used sheet metal. You've seen the sheet, uh, the big piece of sheet metal that I started with and the wire that I had. And right now, this, um, the wire that I used is actually penetrating through the stone and the, and, the, and the metal. So that's what's creating that swivel effect that you get with this pendant. So it is a two millimeter sterling silver wire that I used, and I believe it's a one and a half gauge uh, sheet metal that I used as well for this bale. So a lot of the tools that you've seen in the video were pretty traditional old fashioned uh, goldsmithing tools that I would use. I used a lot of files, um, hammering. I used a torch as well. I needed to anneal the piece. Uh, I needed to anneal the bale so that I could um, make it more malleable and I could bend it properly. Um, without without cracking the metal or warping it at all when I bended it into the into the bale. Um, also, so I had to use my pickle solution as well and the ultrasonic, those are my bigger tools, and I, that was a big part of the process because it's important to keep this piece clean. Um, throughout the whole process, you need to keep the piece clean so that you don't scratch it or the or the shell as well. The most stressful part of the piece was the hammering. So when I put the rivet through the bale. Um, I had to hammer it just to make it wider, to make it kind of a mushroom shape on both sides of the bale on the top and bottom of the stone. Uh, that is the most nerve wracking part because uh, it's very easy to, to break the stone if I hammered it the wrong way. Um, yeah, then the piece would be done for it and I'd have to start from scratch with a brand new stone. So I do cut my own wampum. Um, I am a trained jeweler. I, I mostly work with silver and gold. But when it comes to wampum, these, these wampum pieces, I had to learn that on my own. In my community, I do have mentors. Um, I have lapidary equipment that I use to, to, um, cut the, to cut the stone. But I have mentors in my community, um, elders and, and that people that have been doing it for years, people, other silversmiths as well that make uh, wampum pieces. When I do wampum pieces, they're one of a kind pieces and they take a long time to make from start to finish because those beads, or not the beads, um, stones as well, um, break very easily so um, I, I learned it's, it took me hours and hours and hours I took it it probably took about five solid years before I was actually comfortable with um, the end product and actually putting out uh, wampum stones as well